Our third principle and value is that we need a regenerative culture, creating a culture which is healthy, resilient and adaptable. A, resili- uh, a culture that cares for planet and it cares for life in awareness that that is the most effective way of creating a thriving future for humanity. Regenerative culture means making improvements year on year, whether that's for your communities or your neighbours or for the soil or water that surrounds us. And it's about more than just being a network of, of activists. It's about seeking ways of being with each other and supporting that positive change to happen. For some people, this might include Um, ceremony or prayer. For others, it's about bringing communities together around uh, um, a meal, for example, and finding ways to bring inspiration um, to each other. Um, And in a way, it's a way to reconnect with the things that we love, um, with ourselves, with our country, with our people, um, and the natural world. There are different elements to regenerative culture. There's... um, the self-care work that we we all need to do, how we look after ourselves and think about our own personal recovery from this toxic system. There's action care, how we look after our, each other on um, actions when we're doing civil disobedience and afterwards when we're, when we're debriefing. It's about interpersonal care, how we think about the relationships that we have and being mindful of how we affect each other or take charge um, on our side of the relationships. It's also about community care, how we care for each other in our in our network, in our community, and strengthening our adherence to the principles and values with those we we know and love. And it's about people and planet care and how we how we care for our natural world. And so really it's all about relationships, the relationships we have with ourselves, our personal histories, what we struggle against and what we face on a day-to-day basis. Um, and these are completely interdependent. Self-care is all about taking care about the animal part of ourselves that responds instinctively to stressful situations with fight or flight or faint. And so in practical terms, we often use um, methods of of building those relationships in our meetings. For example, we have rounds of check-ins where we ask each other how we're feeling and what we need to to really be part of the meeting, um, be present in the meeting. We also um, have uh, dance breaks, like I mentioned, to kind of shake things out of the stress of the day. And in our groups, we have group agreements. So basic ground rules that people follow to be part of, of our regenerative culture.